Hi there, it's Chris Parsons here with another Isuzu Ute IDAS tip video to help you get the most out of your Isuzu vehicle. Isuzu's IDAS offers a range of ways to monitor your vehicle's speed outside of traditional and adaptive cruise control functions. These include traffic sign recognition, an intelligent speed limiter, as well as a manual speed limiter. Let's check them out in more detail. Traffic sign recognition takes full advantage of the stereo cameras and their ability to take in everything that's going on in front of them. This naturally includes speed limits, conditional speed limits, no overtaking and no entry signs. You'll always be able to see the last posted sign visible in the multi-information display. And you can see a maximum of three traffic signs when you're on the IDAS information page. The key difference between a speed limiter versus cruise control is that cruise control allows you to set and hold a desired cruising speed, whereas speed limiter allows you to set a desired maximum speed limit and you continue to drive as normal. Simply press the mode button on the steering wheel until you bring up speed limiter mode. The limb icon will also be appearing in the display. The intelligent speed limiter works with traffic sign recognition to automatically alter your maximum speed to the last posted sign identified by the traffic sign recognition system. This is especially handy if you're driving in traffic areas like roadworks and school zones. The manual speed limiter lets you control your maximum speed limit via the plus and minus buttons on your steering wheel. With a manual speed limiter, you can adjust your limit for anywhere from 30 kilometers per hour. To adjust between intelligent or manual speed limiter, first make sure the car is stationary. This allows the settings page within the display to become available. Scroll across using the steering wheel controls and select settings. Scroll down until you find driver support settings and select it. Scroll down again until you find speed limiter and select it. Now select mode and then finally choose between intelligent or manual. To use the speed limiter, simply press the cruise control mode button on the steering wheel until you see the limb icon appearing in the display. If manual speed limiter is engaged and you're already traveling at the desired speed, simply press one of the set buttons and it's done. You can always fine tune the speed with the plus and minus set buttons, which adjust by one kilometer per hour. If you press and hold these buttons, they will adjust in steps of five kilometers per hour. If intelligent speed limiter is engaged, it will automatically adjust based on the last identified traffic sign. Both speed limiters can easily be turned off in an instant by simply pressing the cancel button on the wheel or by using the brake pedal. In the event of an emergency where maximum acceleration is required, the speed limiters can also be overridden by fully depressing the accelerator pedal. If you are happy to go back to the previously used setting, simply press the resume button for more easy motoring. With these great features, you'll be able to monitor your vehicle speed on every journey. Thanks for joining me on this IDAS tip video. Please visit isuzuute.com.au for more tips on getting the most from your Isuzu, including going off-road and towing.